The idea of the university came about after the 1988 Spitak earthquake as a constructive response to this major tragedy. Miriam and I were members of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences reconnaissance team uh, that visited the earthquake area 10, 12 days after the earthquake. And while we were going around and visiting various buildings, looking at the uh, damaged buildings, uh, Miriam found this book, uh, Strength of Materials, in the rubble of the Polytechnic building. We were both specialists in structural mechanics, and that book described the theory for how to design and construct safe buildings. And there we were, buildings that uh, were very flawed in their design and construction. If uh, the practitioners had followed what was in that book, the devastation would be nowhere near as bad as it was. So in a sense, it was very ironic for us to find that book in the rubble of the earthquake touring the earthquake area and seeing the buildings, we realized that there was need for education in earthquake engineering. And at that time, we talked about the possibility of bringing some young students to the United States to educate them in earthquake engineering and send them back. Two months later, uh, at the end of February 1989, we were at a breakfast of hush in the home of Suren Kevorkian. And there were a number of professors from the Polytechnic uh, Institute at the time, including Rector Yuri Sarkisian. And we were going around talking about uh, how the diaspora could help Armenia. And when turn came to Yuri, he said it would be very good if he could bring American type education to Armenia. That comment struck in my mind. I thought the time was right. And immediately I said, Yuri, that's not impossible. When I went back, I took notes and I wrote a draft proposal. Then I contacted Miran and I said, uh, would you like to join me in making this proposal? We readily accepted. And so we prepared a letter proposal that we sent to various organizations. Among several responses that we got, there was this short letter from Luis Manukian Simon, who was at the time the executive vice president of AGBU. And she said, this is an excellent idea and AGBU will commit funds to it. But how do you start a university in a country 10,000 miles away? There were many, many, many challenges that we had to confront. It's difficult to say the place of the university, getting the government of Armenia on board, uh, getting the mechanics uh, of uh, starting programs, but somehow we overcame those challenges and it happened. Besides from the funding, uh, Luis Manukian Simon had another very important uh, influence on how things evolved. She insisted that sh we should work with an institution. And immediately, University of California idea came about. The extent of University of California contribution has been enormous in terms of guiding, developing the governance 
uh, structure of the university, advancing the level of the American University of Armenia in terms of integrity, in terms of functionality, in terms of its know-how. The first cohort of AUS students are very special because the university was built together with them. Those years, 1991, 92, until 93, when they graduated, were extremely difficult years in Armenia. Uh, but uh, we persisted, and our students, uh, starting 101, eventually 52 graduated, they persisted with us. You know, in Soviet Armenian tradition, there was no ceremony. We had the first such graduation ceremony in Armenia with uh, cap and gown, with all formality, the music and guest speakers. And the enthusiasm, the excitement was just something entirely new in Armenia. Uh, and we have kept that tradition. From the beginning, uh, we knew that we had to get accreditation because that's what stamps the quality of the university. So we applied to the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, which is one of the six regional uh, accreditation agencies in the United States recognized by the Department of Education. The government of Armenia in 1991 granted free use of the Shahumian building uh, to the university. This was the best building that the government of Armenia had at the time. However, the building was really not designed as a university building. Paramazavatissian building added facility at the time that we needed it badly because we were running out of space, but it was designed properly as a university building with classrooms, with faculty offices, with conference rooms, allowed us to function more properly as a university. When I arrived in Yerevan 2019 in the summer, I had the ambition really to see how I could help to take AUA to the next level of a 21st century university. I was very much helped by a panel study that has been made the year before by AUA trustees and also AGBU. I also went around to all the Marsis to see and talk to people and the governor specifically. That gave me an understanding on what they believed was important to do and also what they believed was difficult things that they had to deal with. I took that with me and with the report, I started to put together a strategy for AUA. It was a, a proactive strategy for everybody at AUA to look into what contribution, what understanding do I have and do I want to see when it comes to developing the education, the research, the outreach and the internal environment. It was also relevant to really see how we could make everybody in their colleges, the faculty and the students, start to prepare possibilities for collaboration. That way we added six open centers of excellence cutting across the four colleges. That could also reflect what I heard out in the regions when I talked to the governors, so that I was influenced by the needs from there and also from this uh, panel report that I had. We started to discuss how could we make reality labs where we are focusing on um, clustering uh, university, public, private partnership collaboration. Research facilities are very important for a university. That is something that we need to develop quite a lot. We focus all the time on education and we still will, that's our aim. But in order for the education to really fit 21st century university needs, we need to develop the infrastructure quite a lot. We also need to expand the university. The next one is the science and engineering building that we are planning right now. We foresee that this is going to be a fantastic, attractive building that can enable both students and faculty to do much more than they can do today. The extension program was put in from the beginning with the reason that was natural at that time to train English language and also to have test facilities for students. 
That, of course, built up trust in the marshes where they are present. This has, over the years, enabled possibilities to give more education in other areas of the country. We call these transformed extension open education and the next step that we are working on here is to really see how we can integrate that non-academic offering with the academic offering in the university main campus. AUA has a, a very strong position in the country. Being such a young and small university, it's amazing what impact it has made. That brings, of course, a lot of respect and expectation, which we need to build on. And we also need to develop what we can offer to the students for them to really live up to the mission that we have. And the mission really to make a real impact for them and also for the country. We hope that what struggle that we have gone through here over the last year, that it uh, help us to build character. We uh, need to see how can we, with the experience we now have, be strong enough to take the steps necessary to make Armenia be an attractive, valuable player in this part of the world. And I truly believe that we can do this. And I truly believe that AUA is positioned to have pieces of the puzzle that is needed for that. The world is changing, transforming, and we can actually be a model. We can leapfrog as a university for university public-private partnership. But we all need to come together and really understand who we are and our unique assets. So let's do it now when we are 30 years old. It's time to do it now.